What's up? I can use a song on Twitch. Sure, they think I can do it. <laughs> it's time to go face to face. We hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. That's right. Come on. That's a good horse. You see now. Let's go. Clara, I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. That's it, Clara.
Incoming helicopters heading your way, Danny. What does this unlock? Gracias. Sure. The press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benevides. Press passes? Oh, this is my shot, Danny. Got a shit hot song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. It's Italia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in.
You're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvia Balboa, Garden City. Urban Garden. Uh, can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Nice. A lot of money not going to the rest of Yara. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro. A revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. 
Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? <laughs> Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned the other's best mind to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer. PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost the production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, the volunteer. That's like the film. Then, the fertilizer is working on the plants as we speak. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get into me. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer fighting tobacco compound called Yarantine. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantine is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. Okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. By slaves. For two years, Reyes tested the compound pharmaceutical properties and discovered it could slow my tooth. Bullshit. <laughs> Stay with the group, por favor. I didn't think this could happen. I hear even more now than before. Unfortunately, And this ends our tour. 
But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind the Vivero. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren rum. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, sneak peek. So peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Hui. Yaren to Yaren, you believe that organic shit? You're Yaren. Uh, come Yaren at Dr. Heart. Reyes, we Only. don't want to be late. Neither do we. Let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So, what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. A special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yard in Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You. 
You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? Vuelta. ¿Qué bola? Hola. You need to freshen up that gear. <laughs> I'm Lola. Knew you would be back for much. Take care of that. What's up? You're not having a heart attack. How, how do you know? We need Paolo. Paolo knows how to fix this. Paolo's in Miami by now. No, no, no. He's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. 
Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Lara, Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? Wasn't the plan. Fuck, I don't think there ever was a plan. Look, you and Dali are at the top of that don't shit list. Watch your back. A lot of people are counting on you, Danny. We got a chance here. Word is Castillo has a defection problem. Who knows? He might even surrender. You are dreaming, Clara. Fuck yeah, I am. Hi. Que bola. I always figured Talia would get back a Maria, but not like that. I thought Ravio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport, and he was with that fucker, Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that can put Talia back from the cliff, Carnala. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom. Soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there.
Paolo, what did you get yourself into? Big gun. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe, but we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Hola, Rojas. <laughs> Bicho. You got Paolo! You are a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. Uh, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho, I'll call you when I have him, okay?
Hola. Hey. I knew Talia would get Maria eventually. Over here, my friend. You got something for me? Supply drop, Danny. If you can reach it first, it's ours. Those supplies it. would go a long way. Gracias, gracias. Always the optimist, huh?
Why would they take Paolo to a place like this? Paolo's not here. Fuck. Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. Ningún problema. What's up? Paolo, I'm not leaving without you. I wonder if Anton is sad now. The Maria is dead. I love these new phones. 
This whole thing. Uh, 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 oh, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. <coughs> That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Miss me, motherfuckers. Dania, come on, Karina, you're safe. You're with me now. They put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Mr. Matias, fucking go. Oh, okay, okay, we meet there. <laughs> Matias, need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. It was El fucking Doctor. He poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. <clears throat> Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Danny, please take a moment and force. Lions, tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up. Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This isn't real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. How was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? Please! Make it stop! Body shot. That was your big American dream. That's a terrible thing. The Solberg body shop has such a better ring to it. Alejo? You know what Weirfano says to me? He screams, pity fuck. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It, it all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Danny? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us too. After the bullet went into my brain, I could still see. Alejo, please stop. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. 
<laughs> not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? <laughs> Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife! <laughs> Welcome back, idiot. Australia. You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. about Bembe, blaming him for what happened to you, me, and Talia. Last night, he took off while we were sleeping. I think the idiot's gone after Bembe. Don't know how Bicho thinks he's going to track him down. Bicho always had our back, and we never... Just find the little shit, okay? We're going to war. I need to rally our people, train them. That means no one gets left behind, even Bicho. Good luck. At this stage, every guerrilla counts. Hola. Bicho? Bicho! You crazy come mierda! Where are you? He's not here. Maybe he left something lying around that will tell me where he went. Hmm. So Bembe is buying weapons from the military. Looks like the handoff was at the rodeo.
cool, but not gonna help. Why does this smell? Oh. <laughs> Skimming some Viviro off the top, eh, Bembe? I should check that warehouse. If I find Bembe, I find Bicho. Be alive, mi socio. Oh yeah, Paolo. I think Bicho's done something stupid. What's he done this time? He's really going after Bembe. Stupid come mierda. Don't worry. I'll find him before he digs himself too deep. Hurry, Danny. Bicho's no match for someone like Bembe. Bicho set the balls loose on everyone. <laughs> what a way to go. Looks like a deal that went bad. Real bad. Bembe got spooked and killed his buyer. Bicho must have followed him out. Paolo! Little maniac sabotaged one of Bembe's black market deals. He let the bulls loose at some kind of rodeo. Repinga! He's going to get himself killed. I won't let anything happen to him.
Hello. Hi. You have to walk. Easy. Just tell me. A crazy kid come through here, talks a lot, hair kind of like a pineapple. Yeah. Came in here whiffing a gun around. Told me I had to tell him where my buyer lives. Guy called Bembe. Did you tell him? See? Si. And then the kid ran off. Can you tell me where Bembe lives? <sighs> Nobody knows exactly where his place is. But it's in Cruz del Salvador, near the border. That's all I know. I swear. Please, just let me go. Paolo, I know where to find Bembe. Then that's where Bicho will be. Exactly. Sit tight, Paolo. Abandoned mine. <laughs> they didn't really clean up after themselves. That's going to go bad unless those guerrillas get some support.
unearthed about this. Looks like Bembe hides out in an old slave shack on the plantation. That's Picho's truck. Picho? Picho! Picho, what the fuck? Get out of here, daddy! I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off! No, you don't. Oh, I'm not! You don't think I will? Picho, eh? listen to me. You thought coming here was gonna fix it all? But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest. A parasite. Yes. You take and give nothing back. Picho, don't listen to him. That's right. Picho. Just a blood-sucking bug. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. You're not Picho. You're not a bug. What's your real fucking name? You wanna fix something? Pull that trigger. You need to shut the fuck up right now. My name's Paz. Yeah. Okay. Your name is Paz. You're Paz. You're not Picho. You're not a bug. You're Paz. And I need you here with us, man. Hmm? You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. I really did. Paolo. Danny, tell me if was okay. See, si, talked him out of doing something really stupid. He's a bit shook, but he's okay. Oh, fuck. Thank God. And Bembe? Still alive, still a snake. Shit. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. There's always going to be a Bembe, Paolo. But there aren't many Bichos out there. When Bicho gets back, maybe tell him how you feel, yeah? He could use it right now. I will. I promise. Thank you, Danny. Danny, how is my patient? Alive, gracias. And I have another cool scar to show my friends. You joke, Danny. But it's the scars in your head that worry me most. Look, it's not a good situation here. Talia has an infection and we're low on medication. I'm sure Castillo has some to spare. You and I think alike. Hit these three checkpoints along the road, west of my clinic. Hurry, Danny. Talia's life depends on it. Oye, Matias, I got the meds. Muy bien, Danny. Bring them to me in Barrial. Hurry! For Talia's sake. See you soon. Crocodile? I heard Maria's brain. No cracks allowed.
Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. Si, sí, big reunion. We need to hit el doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria's dead. Bebiro is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias Asinta. Sergio Estevez, El Doctor's right hand man, murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> Weren't you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. <laughs> I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions. Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now the mama and papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. <laughs> 